Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and if you are new to my channel, a big hello to you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this content that we are going to be featuring today. It's going to be a collective haul. Um, if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you as always for watching my videos. I really do appreciate the support. Um, and I just really enjoyed talking to you guys in the comments, so do leave a note if you have a chance. I love reading comments and reacting to the comments, so it's always a fun part of being on YouTube. Um, unless you're saying something mean, and then in which case, don't leave a comment. <laughs> But at any rate, I wanted to do a collective haul today because I have a bunch of different bags that I've been piling up and I don't like to put things away until I film them and then I just have a bag overload. So I'm not even sure what exactly I have. I'm just going to start showing you things. But I'm actually going to start off with items that we got for Christmas. And the reason I want to show this is because I actually found it in the corner of the room, my filming room, which means that my daughter has gone three months now without even missing these items. These are her items. But I remember I took them from her because I didn't want her to damage the doll's perfectness, I guess. Um, the sanctity of the dolls needed to be preserved. And once my daughter gets a hold of a doll, the hair just gets all unraveled. It's just crazy. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show was I recently did a Cinderella um, collection video. If you haven't seen that, it was for the 75th anniversary of Cinderella. I will put the link up above. Please go check that out. It was a very fun video where um, seven of us collaborated to show 10 of our favorite or 10 of our featured Cinderella items and I showed one of my items my number one item was this light up carriage that my daughter got for Christmas um, and I forgot to show the extra pieces that it came with and it's been sitting in my room so I wanted to show you that so the in my filming room so the first thing is Cinderella herself this was the doll you can see her hair is still perfectly coiffed because my daughter only played with her a couple of times and if I left this in her room, this would have been just damaged by now. But this is the Cinderella doll that came with that carriage. And then we also have the big giant horse. So you can see from this toy itself how life-size that toy carriage itself is. It's like my favorite Cinderella piece we own in our house currently. I don't own the Lego Disney Castle. If I did, that would probably be my favorite. But it's been my wish list forever. I don't have it yet. So one day one day my prince will come no one day hopefully i will be able to own that because it is a 350 dollars price tag i believe we haven't purchased it i don't think my husband would be okay with me spending that much money on a toy per se it would have to be like a collaborative item and truth be told my father-in-law told me a couple years ago that when we move into a bigger space and we have an actual big, bigger space to put it on display permanently that's the day that he will buy that for me so Hopefully, if we get a bigger play soon, I can be like, remember that time that you said you were going to buy that Lego castle, Disney? I still want it. Please help me. <laughs> um, but those are the Cinderella pieces. Um, one other thing is the Anna and Elsa set that was from Frozen 2. This is sold at the Disney store. And these are dolls. They look so pretty. I actually just want to show them because I think they're really cute. I don't really show dolls on my channel pretty often, but these particular ones just look really nice. You can see her hair has definitely been mess with a little bit. My daughter just only takes a couple minutes to do this. So I took these from her a while back and just they've been sitting ready to be filmed. Never did it. So these were the Anna and Elsa from the Disney Store set and I just think they're so cute so I wanted to film them at the beginning of this haul. So that's my daughter's toys. We're good. Oh and one more. This is actually a little Hawaiian doll that my parents picked up. My parents are very close to retirement at this point. They love going on cruises and they recently went on Hawaiian cruise and they picked this up for my daughter which I thought was really sweet and they bought me a Hawaiian lei. So I have a nice lay skirt as well. So awesome. Makes me feel like I went, but not. Also from Christmas, it's really cool. I am Walt Disney book that my in-laws gave to me. It's kind of cool. You have Walt and Mickey on the cover. And it's kind of like a little like comic book um, design that kind of explains who Walt is and his story behind the parks. I am Walt Disney. Here's a comic part, and you can see this all the different things about like him growing up in Missouri and having his ideas. So it's actually a really cool little like book that I was gifted for Christmas as well. And if you are a Walt slash Disney fan, kind of a cool idea. Next up is Daiso and I filmed one portion previously so I'm going to insert that footage after this. The two, three other extra items are they have these cute little um, saucers to put on mugs. And this is a big thing for Disney fans like myself. I actually purchased one in another color in blue, which was one of my um, Disney friends' favorite color. I had entirely Kristen paired with me for my recent Disney in Christmas, or Christmas in February Disney swap that I did. Um, and so I sent my box to her, and since blue is her color, I sent her this, since she's a mug person. 
um, in blue, but I got the pink one. It's very paisley with has little like hidden Mickeys all around the edges in white. It's just a really gorgeous little design. That was a fun little item from Daiso. I also picked up these little like party cups from Monsters Inc. because you can never have too much Disney in your life. And these are great little water cups for kids when you have kids around. So I got that for that reason. And the last thing are these popsicle molds. This is a blue silicone pop, pop silicone popsicle mold um, maker with Mickey Mouse's shape. So I just thought these were such cute little items. So I wanted to go ahead and grab those. And I will show you some footage of the other recent Daiso items that I recently acquired. They've had so much great new Mickey Mouse merch come in and these items are straight from Japan. So who doesn't love Japanese items? I know I'm obsessed. <laughs> they even have storage bins with Mickey Mouse. They're plastic storage bins. So cute. Daiso's done such a great job lately of bringing in new merchandise that I wanted to share. Um, first off, there is this big um, placemat. This is actually a bathroom mat. It's really soft. Um, it's a little bit on the thin side, I suppose. However, this is currently in my bathroom, in my guest bathroom, and we love it there. Um, given that this is white, however, I'm afraid that it might potentially get dirty. You can see Mickey Mouse in all his glory. So I did buy an extra one because this is such a great deal, and you can see the price up there was $4. So it's a $4 bathroom mat, and this is an extra for when the one in our bathroom eventually gets shabby. But right now it's pretty good. We've had it in there for half a year, and I love this bath mat so much. Um, what's new is they have a lot of new stationery sets. So I had previously known about this one. I had mentioned this on my channel before that I was looking for this Hawaiian set. They finally came to my store, so I got a copy of it. Thank you to those people who saw my past videos and offered to send this to me, by the way. A couple people did do that, and I said it wasn't necessary, but that was really sweet. At any rate, I have envelopes here, and then you can see that it has note paper on the back. And it's got like this tropical Hawaiian theme. It's kind of like the Alani design, and it says Minnie Mouse, Aloha. It has Minnie Mouse in different uh, shapes with flowers. So this was the Hawaiian pattern that I finally got a copy of. And then in addition to that stationery, there is this new bell letter set. You can see the bell envelope it says bell. Happiness can be found when you look beyond the surface. So cute. It's got this like see-through window that if you put the envelope in, um, you'll see Belle's face sticking out. And then it also comes with these roses. These enchanted roses are meant to be an embellishment so that you can go ahead and seal the letter closed inside the envelope. So I love this design a lot too. The new was this one. It's these new princess insoles to put inside your shoes. You've got Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. And there's also Snow White at the very bottom, but you can see this is meant for a 13 to 17 centimeter foot. And I just thought these were so cute, so I got this. Then they have these tea towels. This is something that is newer that they are doing at Daiso. These little tea towels that are meant just to be like a little bathroom towel. And you can see I have the princess design as well. There's Ariel, Rapunzel, and Belle. I have seen at my friend Drew's um, store that they just have one with Ariel herself. I haven't seen that design, but I do have this one with the three princesses because it was the closest I could get. And this one is also very soft, perfect for just washing your hands quickly in the bathroom. You can hang this up and there you go. These are the coolest things I've seen in a while. You can see this has a Monsters Inc. design all over. And it's basically a decorative box to store toys, to store anything you need in your office, maybe. You could put an office box with Master's Inc. all over, and this is the design. So I love this a lot. And then I have another one with the princesses design. You can see there's the princesses right there, and that's the closer look at it. It says royal before it was cool. You've got Ariel on here, Belle, um, Rapunzel, etc. It's just a really nice design, and I'm all about the princesses, so definitely love this one as well. They had different holiday um, washi tapes. This is one of the ones I have left. It says Merry Christmas and has a Mickey and Minnie pattern. Saving this for next Christmas. I love it. And these went so fast. When they arrived, they disappeared that quickly in the store. So people were definitely all about these Christmas washies. This one is a newer design. It's got Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh in different uh, jumping poses. He's smelling the roses and looking out for honey. So it's a cute little, like, they call it masking tape. A nice little washi tape from Daiso. And this is the other new one that they just came out with that is Monsters, Inc. So I just definitely grabbed a couple different Daiso washi tapes because I love the fact that they have so many and they make such fun packaging on packages. This is blue. You can see it's a nice blue little like tassel that you could put on your phone or any kind of like, you know, accessory really. This is like a nice little Mickey Mouse strap. So I grabbed that to have and this will be a gift for someone in the future as well.
These are like fun little side dishes. They came in a four pack with red and black. The very, very top has the imprint of Mickey Mouse's face. It's kind of hard to see through this uh, print. But I grabbed this so that my daughter can have this for a little small side dishes. You can put like snacks in here, goldfish and whatnot. A great little treat snack. And this is actually only the regular price. This was not a markup. This was only $1.50. So crazy. And the other thing is this teaspoon set. It says Daiso Disney. It's got nice wooden carvatures on it. Um, my, son <laughs> my son just ripped this, so I'm trying to put it back the way it was. And then this is the actual spoon. So kind of cute for the kitchen. The coolest thing that I got besides this Monsters Inc. lunchbox. I mean, how cool is this? Little, little lunch bag pack. Also for a future gift. They had this. They have these different canvas totes, and this is one that says keep it up. Different designs. Look how big this is. I mean, it fits a lot. Um, I just took a couple of different accessories out of here, but this has actually been very helpful in my little mail section. And I wanted to show it real quick because this is such a great, nice quality um, canvas bag. And I forget the price, but let's see. It might have been three, four dollars. So four dollars for this one. This is a bigger one. If you got a smaller size, I think those were three dollars. Um, this is actually the biggest one they offered, and it's really been useful for me. So I have been loving all the Daiso stuff. Um, I mean, it's just so, so cute. Of course, I cannot wait to use these boxes in my office because I just think they're so cute as well. But... That is basically all the newest Daiso items. So neat, right? New fabric. Kitchen stuff. Next up, I want to show this bag that torn to tatters, but it is from none other than the Funko store. There is a Funko permanent location that was a pop-up, or I'm not even sure if it's still there, but it was in Hollywood in California. I heard about it, and I finally had a chance to go in, and it was like a mecca. I can show some footage of it, but it was amazing. They had a Little Mermaid ship replica that I took a picture of. I wasn't looking my best, so please pardon the picture, but I still wanted to share the fun experience with you guys, because it was such a fun, cool store. When you walked in, it kind of felt like a museum. And they had merchandise in there that I had never seen before. This is actually a map of the whole, like, store. It was just crazy. That's how big it was. It was massive. They had all these different, like, features. It says, Welcome to Funko Hollywood. And they had different movie moments. Funkos I had never had seen. So besides Little Mermaid, they had Harry Potter. They had real movies that I didn't even know existed. Like, I didn't know they were Gilmore Girl Pops until I went there, and et cetera, et cetera. So it was actually really cool to see what they had.
did not buy any Funkos, however, but I did buy this. This is a Pint Size Heroes Snow White and the Seven Dwarves set. I had never seen this bag before in my life, and I thought this was really, really cute. So I grabbed it. Um, I'm not the biggest Snow White fan, however, I do have a friend that is, so I actually got that to see what I got and give it to her. I'm sure she knows who she is. The next item I got was an item I had never seen before, and it's this Ursula lip gloss. And you can see it's very shiny and pink, and it does say Ursula on it. And I just thought it was a cute little, like, girly item. It does say Pop on it, Disney Villains, High Shine Gloss. And I have been really into the makeup lately, so I just picked up some more Disney makeup because you can never have too much. And then the next thing is actually this Harry Potter item. And you can see it's from Funko.com, and this is like an advent calendar. There are 24 different vinyl figures that you could have opened every day of Christmas, after Christmas, or yeah, I think I went actually at the end of December. After Christmas, these actually went on sale, so I was able to save, I believe, 75% off of the original price. Yeah! I believe I was able to save 75% off of the original price, which is awesome. And I got this with the intent of opening it on my channel to see what Harry Potter figures I got, but also... I'm doing a Harry Potter swap and I wanted to see if there are any fun features in here that would be appropriate for the person I got for that Harry Potter swap. So I will open this and then send it to that person and then by the time you see this video footage, she will have gotten her box. So all good. For that same swap, I've been picking up Harry Potter items all over the place. So I found this really cool Ravenclaw jelly beans from Barnes and Noble. So I didn't even know these existed. And I also got the Every Flavor Beans because you can never have too many of those from Birdie Bots in the Harry Potter universe. Again, this was for my Harry Potter person. So I just went nuts finding Harry Potter stuff everywhere. I found it at the Funko store. I found it at Barnes and Noble. I found it online. You name it. I found it. Okay, so I'm clearly now using this box. You can see how sturdy it is, and it's pretty thick. I love the fact that this is a nice sturdy box I got from Daiso. Moving back to Funko real quick, though. Um, you saw my paper bag was all messed up. It seems like in as of now in 2020, they're now giving out these bags. Or maybe this is a bag that you receive if you buy a Funko. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't buy Funkos last time. You can see I have two bags. This one's actually empty now because um, this contained... A couple of items I recently bought for another swap that I'm doing. It's already been mailed out, so I no longer have those items. You'll have to see the swaps to see what they are. But I did break down and buy a pop this past month, um, as well as these Harry Potter mystery vinyl figure keychains. Been on a Harry Potter kick lately. This is another item I hadn't really seen, and I was like, this is kind of cool. So I got this from the Funko um, store in Hollywood. It went back and realized that it's still open. Very happy about that. Because um, you never know if there's these things, when they open up their pop-ups, or they're permanent. But it seems it's permanent, and the store is massive. So if you ever go to Hollywood, definitely check it out. So I got this, and then I got this Funko Pop. And this is it, King Triton. And it says it's a special edition, which just basically means that when they first released the 30th anniversary um, vinyls, Triton was not included in the mix. You had the large Ursula, which they do have at the store, that lights up, glows in the dark. Um, not lights up, it glows in the dark. And I kind of do want this one still, but I'm on the fence. Um, I do have the small Ursula one from this set, and I have this Ariel. I don't have the rest, not yet. They did have Chef Louis in the store as well, but this King Triton one was just calling to me, and whereas the regular Funkos are 10, I believe this one was only 20, and then the larger Ursula one was 30, and whatever you buy at the Funko store in Hollywood, it is a final sale. There are no returns, so... If you make the commitment, you are making the commitment. <laughs> so I did grab this. The only Funko Pops I want to get still that I just found out just re released were the Backstreet Boys ones. They had all of them in the Funko store, and I was very close to buying both Kevin and Nick, my favorite Backstreet Boys. But I didn't because I saw Triton, and I wanted this Triton instead. But you can see Triton is in the box holding his Trident, and he looks awesome and fierce. And I hadn't gotten this Funko yet. You can see he's still in the box. I'm not sure if I want to take him out just yet, which is why I'm keeping him in the box. And like I said, I can't return it. But for some reason, I just want to keep him pristine in the box for right now. But yay, that was my Funko purchase. And then finally, I have three more items. And these are actually from my friend Jessie. Um, she knew that it was my birthday, and she gave me a couple extra items. Um, I had actually asked for this one. So she put my name on it. She calls me Chris. So she put it on here. And it is a Ariel and Eric set, and you can see the price there in the corner. This was only $3. At some point, this Funko set was reduced down to $3. I actually bought the Flynn and Rapunzel one from um, 
I believe it was box lunch at one point for full value. I think it was like $12.99. So $3 discounted is a great price for this. And of course I need to have Ariel and Eric added to my life. This has been sitting in a bag again, so that's why I'm just coming across this. So thank you again, Jesse, for gifting that to me. Um, and then she also gave me this for free with that. So she gave me this flavored lip gloss with Ariel on it. I mean, this is just so cool. I love things like this, so thank you again for the freebie. And then this was actually from Daiso, I recognize it, but she saw this cute Aloha Ariel style. It's a waterproof folding fan and gave this to me as well. So thank you, Jesse, for these lovely gifts. Really appreciate it, and thank you for the birthday love. Um, I've had it since my birthday, but I'm showing to you guys now. <laughs> and then because she's awesome, she also got me this Ariel Lip Smacker. It's always so fun to use on your lips and keep them nice and moist and moisturized. <laughs> so there's Ariel, and then she has her little tail in the back. I love this thing. So much fun. And that is my collective haul today. Sorry I'm rushing because my kids are trying to get inside. I just want to sign off with this cute little sweater I got for my daughter. I don't know if I actually showed this at one point either, but it's got all the like different parks commemorated on here which is awesome and reminds me of a Mickey Mouse pin that I have in my collection which is right here and you can see it's got different movies you've got Pinocchio you've got the genie you've got up you've got Beauty and the Beast you have Aladdin Rapunzel Cinderella Jungle Book Little Mermaid the 101 Dalmatians the rescuers I mean this is just a really cool um, piece even Dumbo at the very very top this is a fantasy pin from Disney Chris, and it's one of my favorites, so I was really happy to get the source for Mickey. Silhouette piece that she made that has all these different animated features captured in here. Such a cool pin, and I'm really into this whole like logo of the Mickey Mouse shapes and all the different parks, so I think that's in that theming. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed my collective haul. Let me know what your favorite item was, your favorite store was from this collection. Sorry I'm talking fast. It's going to be a speed video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.